How did 2611 affect you as as a Mumbaiker, if I can call you that today, because you are very much part of the city, the city's made you. How did 2611 affect you? You know, Adiv, I have, uh, I'm from Delhi, as you know, and uh, I have seen uh, the riots in Delhi. Then when I came to Mumbai in 93, 94, uh, then there were these bomb blasts, and now I've uh, uh, seen it through uh, by 2611. And uh, more than as a Mumbaiker, uh, I've, I've started feeling uh, even more Indian than I uh, felt before. And specifically also because, uh, you know, I, I like to believe I'm an educated uh, liberal uh, Muslim and, you know, who has a Hindu wife and two kids. You know, can I clarify? I've read the Quran, the Holy Quran, and I'm a believer of Islam because that's how I'm born. I'll, I'll give you a few uh, verses of Quran which you need to understand. I read it in English because my children can be explained that in, be, uh, in that language better. Uh, there is a surah called Surah Maida, uh, which is a verse from Quran, which very clearly states that if you heal one uh, man, you heal the whole mankind. This is what God says. And if you hurt one man, you hurt the whole mankind. There is nowhere in Quran. See, uh, we believe Quran is the word of Allah. So there are believers in that book, in that holy book. And I'm very clear, if you're following Allah's Quran, if you're following Allah's Islam, nowhere does it say that you're going to get Jannat by Jihad. Nowhere does it say that you can kill women. As a matter of fact, it says you can't, in a war, you cannot kill a woman, you cannot kill a child, you cannot kill an animal, and you cannot destroy crops. Very clear, Jihad was supposed to be something that was to be uh, propagated by the Prophet himself. There is an Islam from Allah, which is in our holy book. There is an Islam, and very unfortunate, I'm, I'm not being anti, but there is an Islam from the Mullahs. And I appeal to all of them, that please give the right reading of the Quran to the young people. Absolutely, suppose if, if we want to win this time, let's not ideological stuff and religious stuff come in the way now. I think we've got a chance that we've come together on the same platform, we are all equally scared. And I think fear is the key. It is one of the greatest uniters in the world. Let's use this fear. Use it in a way that is aggressive and positive and come out with ideas without getting affected negatively by ideological things or getting affected by political things or getting affected by communal religious things. But I would support my full support to someone who's cut out for this job, who's younger and even amongst the younger politicians. If there is someone who's going to take stands and ask for clear-cut, honest, you know, there is corruption in our system and we are all corrupt. But somewhere down the line, if somebody starts to move away from it, I'm there. Uh, you know, Amir said a wonderful thing the other day in his blog that the youth need to form a politician, uh, a, a politic party. They need to come forward and I'm there to support them in any which way possible.